Hi, it's Jackie Conklin again, and I want to show you a little technique on how to piece a curve. I'm sure many of you are familiar how to do a curve, but I'm going to show you a little method that I was taught that I think works wonders. So this is your typical drunkard's path block, and we're going to go ahead and piece these two together. Um, these are my most favorite pins. Uh, they're very long and very fine. We actually sell these on our website. It is a clover pin. And I, the finer the pin you have, the better, because you can go ahead and weave these in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. I'm not finding the middles of the blocks like you typically would. If these are cut accurately, you don't have to worry about that. What I'm going to do is I'm making sure the edges are nice and even as we normally would when you're piecing. And I'm going to take this very long, fine pin, and I'm going to go ahead and weave it in like so. And I started right at the tip top and I come through to the bottom. This keeps your block from um, skewing or it keeps it square when you go ahead and open it up after you've sewn it together. I'm going to flip around to the other side and do the same exact thing. I am making these edges even. And I'm going to go ahead and take another pin and weave it in just as I did the other side. And you can see how close I'm weaving it into the edge as well. Starting at the top and weaving it in. So now you have your piece looks like so. But you have to get this to lay down and be in there. This is all bias and we want to be very careful about how we handle that. But this is where this comes in. This is called a glue pen, a fabric glue pen. It, glue pen. it is washable, water soluble. And this is what I'm going to use instead of um, pins. I'm going to start on my right side and I'm going to work my way from right to left. And I'm very careful how I handle this because this in here is stretchy. I'm just really going to pick it up like this. And in the see, inside the seam allowance, I'm just dabbing glue in there. And I'm keeping the edges nice and even. As you can see, this is going to keep it down for me. Until we get to the other side and then we'll be ready to sew. And I did forget to get one little tool out, but it's pretty handy. We're going to be using a purple thing. So if you do this and you do it correctly without pulling your fabric, because you don't want to pull the fabric, you you will end up with a perfect oops a perfect join here with your glue so you don't have any bulk in your fabric at any place along here you can see it's a nice smooth curve okay and my edges are aligned perfect and there's no pins and it's really easy but if you do make a mistake the nice thing about it is you don't have to take pins out along here you just pull the fabric up and realign it because it's it's the glue is a tacky type glue we're going to use this is the purple fang purple fang has like a little curved edge here which we're going to use to help guide our um, piece in under the needle we've got our quarter inch foot on because we are using the quarter inch foot to guide along the edge of the fabric. And basically all I'm going to be doing here is having my purple thing in the front of the needles to push back any bulk of the fabric. So let's go ahead and start this. We're going to bring this through and take your pins out. And we want to use a needle down position if you have it, okay? So you're going to do the needle down and you're putting the purple thing right on in there and you're going to come along and see how I'm just keeping that purple thing in here and keeping the um, edge of the foot right along the edge of the fabric. That's real important. Accuracy is important. And I'm just pushing that fabric a little bit out of the way if there's any bulk. And there really isn't much bulk here. So you don't have to worry about getting any tucks or pleats in. Keep all the while keeping that edge of the fabric aligned with the quarter 
uh, inch presser foot. And here we are coming to the end. Now people might ask, why don't you use a stiletto? A stiletto is not doesn't have that extra surface area that um, it doesn't have the extra surface area here. If you use a stiletto, it's just got that point. Here you have this extra surface area that allows you to push. So here's the, the block, and what happens is you're gonna wanna press this away from here. We're gonna go ahead and give this a quick press. So here's the press. And we have a perfect drunkard's path block, no pleats, and a nice seam. So that's how we go ahead and we sew a curve without pins.